I'll tell you, one of, the, one of the biggest breaks I had was after I was in for about two or three months, Ronald came down to me and said, hey, we got a new prisoner today. He's a Canadian. My first thought was, does he speak English? Yes, he speaks English. He's, he, he, he's heard of you and he wants to talk to you. Well, the next thing you know, here's Jason, who is an absolute genius. He's a computer whiz. He, he operates his own company. He owns an office building. You're saying, what is this guy doing in here? Well, he was indicted on some type of wire fraud or another guy rolled over on him. It's a long story, but he was waiting to be extradited. And here's one of the things that the system has wrong. Jason has a nice house, he has a nice family, he's not a flight risk, anything like that. But they kept him in prison. And it was so stupid because it, it was breaking up his family, it was doing everything, and he had a hard time with it. So him and I became very close and we talked about everything. And Jason was a, was a tough guy. He looked like a nerd. And he looked like he, he grew up on a computer. But don't mess with him. And he would get in the face of anybody. He had a real edge to him. And I had to like say, Jason settled down several times. But he became a very close friend. And at night, you're so crowded in. And they turn the lights out at 8 o'clock. Him and I sometimes would sit in the corner. And his family brought him food. And, treats and everything and of course I didn't have anything so he'd always here have some of my cookies have some of my cake whatever just really became a, a close friend and a lot of it was I think I helped him out too because he needed someone to talk to and eventually his best friend outside of the visit was Diego who eventually became my lawyer so if it wasn't for Jason I don't think I'd ever met Diego and who knows what would have happened but Jason was a big part of the thing so you finally got transferred. Yeah, it was, it was interesting because when the social worker told me I'll have you out of here in a couple of weeks, after all of the disappointments I've had, I'm sitting there going, yeah, right, I don't believe anything anybody says. And I'm out in the yard one day and I'm walking around with a former police policeman, uh, Costa Rican policeman who spoke a little bit of English and we're talking and all of a sudden one of the guards comes up and hands me a piece of paper in Spanish. This policeman takes a look at it and he goes, congratulations, Dave, you're being transferred to the 60 and over prison. It was shock. I was so happy.